It's the 100th anniversary of Finland being independent from whatever it was before and that's a thing to celebrate because Finland has brought us many great things in life such as saunas, rally drivers, racing drivers and that's about it. Nokia as well. Oh sorry I forgot about Nokia. How can we forget about that? We wouldn't be where we are now if we didn't have Nokia. It's Sunday in game time as you can see in the corner. Uh, we have one big mission on Monday, and that is to get this thing in here MOT'd, inspected, and ready to roll. I had a bit of an issue when I swapped over to the experimental build. Uh, it just wouldn't fire up at all. It was completely dead. Nothing I could do fixed it. Nothing in the editor. Anything had to start all over. So here we are. Built it. It's ready to go. And what better way to celebrate the independence from Finland than by being illegal law-abiding citizen and taking a car for an inspection that they need to have. Yes, we're doing that on Monday. Now it's Sunday. We need to deal with a couple of needs. We need to fire off a couple of fireworks. Uh, well, technically what we need to get rid of is stress, and I'm hoping that my sauna is fully ready to go. Is it though? Is it? No, it's not. It's very low down. So let's go out here, try and finish up some of the other needs that we have. I don't really have a need that I can take care of, so I'm going to go ahead and play with fireworks because, you know, feeling independence and that. I mean, how can this possibly go wrong? Oh god, I accidentally lit one. That's bad. Okay, well, let's run just like everything then. Light, light, light. Run away. Run away. We don't want to die, have our hands blown up and that. Yeah, congratulations, Finland. I've set up some fireworks in some woods that we can't see because I'm an idiot. Yeah, let's try and do that somewhere else where we can see what's going on. We can, like, fire it out over the lake. That's a great thing. Why didn't I think of that before? Well, we have the lovely Finnish flag up there, which I think they're putting just for today. There was also a new update out today. 1.30 or 0.30 or whatever it's called. It's really good, really nice. It's what the experimental boot was all about. I installed that on Sunday or Monday. I don't remember which one. And today it came out. There's many things that we'll talk about a bit later on. But we'll stay down here by the lakeside and fire off some fireworks for a bit because Finland, fuck yeah, right? Yeah, this will definitely be a fuck yeah Finland. We're firing off all the fireworks. Oh, they just go out when they hit the water. All lined up, ready to go. Let's light all of their fuses and stand back a bit in case they don't move away. They're not moving. Well, happy Finland day, everybody. Okay, no, no, they're going, they're going, they're going. Yeah, happy Finland! Woo! Happy Finland, we, we've done fireworks, just what we've done. It was shit, but we did it. Oh, bother, I knew I forgot something, and that was unplugging my phone. We've now been awoken at stupid o'clock by somebody who wants me to pick them up from the pub. Can you pick me up? Oh, you like to know what suppose I can. See that? It's two in the fucking morning. We've been woken up by some drunk Finnish person. Well, there's only one way of dealing with this annoying situation, and that's by letting off some fireworks if we can switch on the lights. And I can find my baggie. I'm not confident that I won't set the house on fire, which really is the thing you can do. So uh, I need to build up some fatigue so I can fall asleep again. I know that's a weird thing to do in a video game. You can't just lay down and sleep here. Oh no, if you've slept, you'll be awake for a wee while. We can probably eat some macaroni to take care of my hunger. We've got a bit of stress. Wahey, it's getting light. Wahey, it's daytime in Finland. And we are off to get the car inspected. What time is it to be precise? It should be six in the morning, so we'll turn off the lights. We don't need them. It'll just be the electrical bill. It won't take that long to drive up to Periavi, but it'll be just long enough to where we'll be there at about eight in the morning. So we should be the first car in. We don't need that case of beer. We'll keep that here at the house. We can go shopping. I need to go shopping anyway because I'm all out of brake fluid. So uh, that's quite important in case we, you know, have brake issues. Let's wind down the window. I like having the window open. It's good. It's summer in Finland after all. It should be down. We should be getting in that warm... I don't know if it's warm, but Finnish air, summer air in Finland. It would be, certainly, wouldn't it, if it's in Finland. Oh, yeah, listen to that beautiful engine roaring away. Uh, we need to put the seatbelt on. That's the thing now. It's illegal to not wear one, and it's going to increase your chances of survival. 
which is nice. They're in all the vehicles now. You don't need to install the road cage. I pulled the handbrake because I'm a good person and the game now saves that. So I need to just release it here, reverse it out. I did send the car up to Flitari, who tweaked the engine and the uh, wheel alignment and brake balance and all of that. So everything should be good in this car. We just need to get it inspected. I hope, fingers crossed. But uh, this got all the stock parts on it, so I'm not 100% certain that it's going to be any fast at all. It might not have zero power or anything. We'll find out. They also added in, or rather changed, the way tyres, wheels and rims work. You now buy tyres and rims separately, and you then get Flitari to put the two things together. Moreover, you buy the, uh, what is it, the rims you buy from the uh, little postage thing you can send in. And the tyres are bought from Flitari, so you bring your rims to Flitari who puts tyres on them, and then you get the wheels back. Uh, fully ready to go. They can be worn out, uh, they can be punctured, which is quite interesting and I have to keep that in mind because I like doing handy brakes. And uh, in terms of other updates, I believe they changed the graphical engine, like the lighting certainly, it looked a lot nicer now, even during daytime. Uh, it just looks a lot warmer, the light. It just, it just looks a bit nicer. Uh, they also updated the map in several places. The first one which we'll encounter here in a short moment. Uh, which is down here just after the level crossing, which is really nice. And uh, you can now, as I said, set the house on fire. I don't think there's a way to recover from that, and you can't call the fire brigade or anything, so it'll just burn down. Uh, I've done that twice. One was deliberate, the second time it wasn't. I lit the fireplace, then I went to deliver some firewood, and when I got back, the house was on fire. That wasn't good. That was bad, actually. That was very bad, to be honest. But uh, what can you do, Ray? What can you do? Thankfully, the house got better in that I quit it without saving because, you know, that wasn't really particularly much fun. Anyway, here's the field over here, and it really just helped open up the map a bit when they've done this on a couple of places. It just helps open it up and make it feel a bit more real. So, quite obviously, as far as I think, a lot of the uh, sort of like walls over here, we all know those sprite walls from older games, certainly. Uh, and other games. See, handbrakes, it's a lot of fun, but I just really overdid it there. I just need to turn this around without smashing into anything. Uh, we can go forward because we've got plenty of room, but I don't know if that will take off the front bumper. And I think we're good, but I think... No, I didn't even stall it. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, this, but we'll bring it around. It has no power. It handles like a dog because I'm not running any kind of suspension upgrade or tyre upgrade or anything. It's just the base car, and it's also a bit heavier because I don't have uh, any seats taken out. Or installed any bucket seats of that nature yet because you know I need a seat belt and you can't do the seat belts or racing harnesses uh, unless you have the roll cage installed because you bolt the five point harness onto the roll cage so you need that uh, so it's sort of like a longer process but I'm certainly enjoying it I did cheat I'd gladly admit because it was as a result of the uh, experimental branch uh, that I uh, couldn't continue the game, so I did give myself about 45,000 finish money to sort of help me get myself started on a new save file, which I thought was fair given, you know, it wasn't my uh, cocking up that caused it, it was a game issue, and it's early active, so I can fully accept that it does that. Um, I had a look around, there was no report of anybody having that issue, and like the engine was completely dead it didn't turn over it didn't even try to ignite the starter motor was fine it was repaired everything was fine i bought a new starter motor there wasn't any wear or damage on it or anything like that it just seemed to be a complete and utter glitch in the game that caused my uh, car to not wanting to even recognize its existence of an engine everything was fine no loose bolts or anything like that everything was fine it just didn't work which is a bit annoying but hey what can you do it's early actors and all of that. So, we are off. We were on the ring road that we saw last time I played this. And it's really nice. They've added a couple of uh, checkpoints in. Uh, at least one new checkpoint, which is pretty much on the other side of where we went. If we turned right instead of left, we would have encountered... Oh boy! Oh boy! That's a yawn. I have to yawn. It's a contractual thing with YouTube. That's an incoming car. That's not a copper. That's always good to just check. Yeah, they added in a couple more checkpoints. We did catch me out. That was while I was trying to get the car to work on my old save file. 
and I'm having about 16 frames per second, but it's going up, so I'm hoping... No, it's not. It's going back down again. Don't know why we're doing 18, 17 frames per second game. Please come back to me. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to pull over soon if it doesn't pick up, because I'm averaging not a lot at all. Or I could just stop recording for a moment and let that whole thing reset, which has helped. So, yeah, that's fixed. We'll not mention that again. That was uh, an issue with something else entirely. And that's perfectly fine. So this is what the map sort of used to look a bit like uh, in a lot of the places on this ring road. Uh, very sort of, you know, closed in with the woodland nearby, but uh, not everywhere. Oh no, you'll see in a moment. It looks like we're being caught, certainly in the rearview mirror, by... Is that a van? No, I thought it was that red car, but it's not because that was there, of course. And I'm, okay, I'm dropping off a bit here, but here we go. This is the map change. Look at how nice, wide and open it is. I have checked, and the grain over here is non-collidable. You go through it, but you do skip for quite a while. I tried it out in my van. I'm being overtaken by a... Have I seen this car before? Maybe I have, probably have, just to remember it. And there's a new building. The granary or grain silo. That certainly is new and it's quite nice. Probably there'll be some work or job related thing you can do in there at some point. Either using a different glory or your tractor or whatever, but we'll wait and see, certainly. Uh, they're expanding the building upon it, it's quite nice. Like this is made in Finland by, I'm guessing, Finnish people. And they've done a really good job. It's just really wonderful to have a game like this. Uh, in a world where the loot boxes and everything else in gaming these days, which seems to just, you know, be very anti-consumer and anti-player. Uh, games like this are nice because you know it's made by people who quite clearly have a vision of what they want to do they're making it because they want to make it and not because they want to use it as a cash cow and that's nice I mean look at that that over there looks like an old like uh, hangar or something and then we got those buildings over there I don't know if there's any functions to them yet uh, but I'm hoping that will come because that will be interesting and that really is the only issue I have with sort of long-term playability in this, is that it gets pretty repetitive with the jobs. Uh, so far, I've pretty much just been focusing on building and repairing the car for all of my playtime. So I haven't really, you know, got to the point where I had a fully functioning car that worked and was upgraded and ready to go, where it felt like it was sort of time to just, you know, relax and play the game a bit more casual or a bit more uh, non-goal-oriented, uh, if I should put it that way. And uh, it'll just be interesting to see, once they add in more, there'll probably be a bit more playability involved here, certainly in the long term. Anyway, we're getting quite close to Perry Yarbor. We've gone the long way around, because I haven't met the police on this stretch at all. And technically, I am driving an unregistered car on the road, which is illegal. So, you know, I just sort of... Took... Oh yeah, that sounded like a gearbox. It could have had a moment there, but I think we're good. We'll just turn in here, take it nice and slow. There's probably a drunk man, probably... It's not a policeman, but certainly a man. Then I could be a policeman for all I know, I've forgotten what they look like. So let's take the car to the inspection first. Uh, hello, there's a score to block. We need to turn here. Slow down, make it turn. Yeah, he's open. He's ready to inspect the car. All right, in we go to do an inspection. Come on, come on, onto this we go. Stop about here, I think this is good. And partly why I opened the window is I can now lean out and see that yes, everything is on here. Turn the, actually put the handbrake first. Turn the engine off, release the seat belt and get out. Hang on, is that a loose? No, no, that's just a rusty uh, seat belt thing that was back there, that's okay. So we go in here to a man. Open the door into this man who's standing in here. Hello there. Yes, yes, yes. I would like you to inspect my car, please. It's 300 and something money in Finland. I close the door here and we'll stand about and watch him as he pokes around with the car. And uh, thankfully I've never had to do this. Well, I have had to go to um, have an inspection like this done, but never on a car that I or anyone I have known have owned. It has always been on company cars, and I think I did, did I do it two or three times. I've done it a couple of times, certainly, and uh, it's a lot nicer, I suppose, when it's not really your car, so you just go, oh yeah, that's broken, all oh, right, well, well, I'll get a man to fix it, which is what I did. It was quite easy, really. 
you're just walking about in there though, you're poking it about, that's not what you do in real inspection. What? I'm such a character with this car of mine. It's it's a nice car, mate. Don't diss the Satsuma. Or you're just trying to be like, hang on. Are you not the bloke that I do the septic tank with? I think he is. I think he's one of the septic tank people. Hello, I'm just walking behind you. Have we passed? Have we passed? Your life and job sucks. So what happened here? Uh, tires? Oh my god, you have you failed me because the tires are okay? So the tires are faulty, right? Well, this calls for a cigarette then because our stress level is high. So, no party yet. Let's go to Flitari. He can sort out the tires on this bad boy. So, off to Flitari it is for some new tires on the whip. Hopefully, that won't take too long from him. Uh, we go right here. Oh dear, let's not crush into that. We're probably going to get a uh, fail if we damage the car. So smoke a bit more of the cigarettes into third. I mean, I can do driving one-handed, as we can see here. Smoke this. Indicate to the left. I'm not stopping. Okay, I'm... St Bus! E that could have murdered me. It could have been quite bad, actually. Let's try and get this under control. Accelerate away. Back onto the gravel road as we approach Flutari's little house place over here. Let's just reduce the speed and bring it in over here at the front of the place. Come to a stop and I now realise that I shouldn't have done the rim polishing the first time round because now I have absolutely no idea of figuring out where, uh, or not where, but when the car has been repaired. Uh, let's go ahead and close it in here. It would be easy if one of the tyres had a puncture on it. Is there anything I can do here to help show that the car's been repaired? That he's done it? Because there's no visual way of inspecting the tyres. So I don't know. But we'll go in here and we'll have a bit of a chat here with a bloke. Hello, sir. Uh, what do you want? Uh, well, what I want is to go to the tyre section. I would like to have... Standard tires. Hang on, can I use either one of these two? Because I suppose I could just put in this one here and we just notice the difference, wouldn't we? Because those are road tires, obviously. Yeah, that would be okay. It's just a road tire, so let's swap that one on. Surely that would be allowed. You can take my Ferndale home if I want. Well, I don't want to, so I'm just going to save and see if it's been done in the meantime. Well, the car hasn't received its new tyres yet, so I suppose we'll take the Ferndale for a spin. We can always, like, pop it round the road a bit and then return it. So let's do a quick road test of the Ferndale. No seat belts in this. Uh, get myself positioned sort of centrally. Turn it on. Don't need to hold down the clutch. I always make that mistake whenever I draw an automatic. And then we pop it. No, we want it in reverse, don't we? There we go. Reverse. Bloke over there just walking about, just, you know... Never mind him, he's just a finished bloke walking about. Pop it into drive, thank you. And I know from experience that I need to be excruciatingly careful with the throttle in this. Because uh, it'll spin out quite easily. It's a big American car, muscle car. It's ridiculously fast, as I will now demonstrate out on the road. Okay, we're not going that fast right now, but we will in a moment. I can now actually put it down a bit because we are now on a road and uh, we won't spin out so easily. 60 miles an hour achieved. 70 miles an hour, and it doesn't feel that fast because you're not doing the gear changes. And I really have realised how much that affects your perception of speed in a game like this where you don't really have the same uh, sense of speed that you do in a real car. Uh, here you're just sort of relying on the gear changes that I do to sort of realise how fast we're going exactly. I mean, we're approaching 100 miles an hour now, and it doesn't feel like it as much. Like, I know we're going very quickly, but I certainly just feel like we're doing anywhere near 100 miles an hour. We're just sort of zooming down here. Let's try and turn into the granary silo place up here and see what all that is about. So approach it probably on the brakes now. A bit hard. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got... It's got... Oh my word, it does not stop at all. Thank you. We sort of got stopped there in just the nick of time. No seat belts, of course, because we know Americans, they absolutely hate it when their government tries to protect them. Uh, so what's this about? Matala's over here. It all looks shut down, so obviously we probably can't go in there yet. 
Uh, but worth having a bit of a look, see about see if there's anything here that we can can do. No, it just looks completely shut down and uh, not in use yet. So this is just a little asset, non-used asset at the moment. But let's hope all of this gets used for something. Because it's pretty cool to have all of this in. Whoopsies, a bit far out. Let's pull it to a stop here and try and investigate this little shed. I know uh, from reading stuff that there are these junk cars that you can deliver at Flitaris uh, for a bit of dosh. I don't know if this is one of them. I know they're in sheds. Oh dear. Okay, we're here at the house and the Ferndale is most certainly not. So in order to not pee off Flatari, we probably need to get going soon. And I suppose that the only vehicle I can take is the moped, which I'm sure will be fine. We can just use the road. I'll drop you here. We know where the car's left, so let's run to here. Can we write this? We can. And uh, stand off next to the side of it. Uh, open it up here. Can we okay, lean forward? We need to open it by turning it the other way. I don't want to run out of fuel on the way up there. No, it must be completely full because there's no fuel going in. So put this down. Uh, let's have a bit of a drink while we're here because we need it. I also took some macaroni just to get the food meter out of the way. So on to the little yonas. Whoa, hello chap. On to you then, thank you kindly. Uh, how do we start it off here? We need the f Indian cut off, so that is light. It's the fuel tabs over there, we need to do that. That then fires up. And, uh, okay, so yeah, we got the throttle. We need to remember how this works. I stalled it there. There we go, we need to get some throttle. So that's sorted now. First gear set off here. This is sort of like a weird mix between driving with a wheel and using my keyboard to change gear. But uh, I'll try and make it work as much as I can here. So look up here like this, change up into third. And then we'll try and keep it here in third. It makes an infernal racket. This time I'll try not crash into one of these poles up here, which means that the bike won't be ever seen again. Which did happen in my previous playthrough. So there we go, full gear. Just cruise along here at a relatively decent low RPM. Uh, so we don't throw ourselves off. Be really gentle on the steering input. Oh, we're wobbling. We're we'll controlling it. Come on. Oh dear, this is quick. Oh, apex that corner like a cool person would. Oh bugger, oh bugger, oh bugger. Break there for the crossing. And the back ends get it out wildly out of control. But I managed to recover it. Let's reduce the speed here for the corner. Uh, my plan is to pretty much do the exact same thing, just in reverse. Although I'm coming in a bit hot there, but I use that banking to my advantage. So yeah, we're going to go out, take the main road round to the granary, pop this into the boot of the Ferndale, and then we'll drive to Flatari and TP sorted out the car in the meantime. I've made it nearly to the main road. Oh. Pretty much I have, let's just reduce it here and make doubly sure that we're not going to get absolutely destroyed as we approach the road here. I'll hold down the clutch. Now it looks like we are perfectly good here. Turn left. And then just keep to the right, pretty much in here, so there's less of a chance of getting murdered. I suppose it would have been a fairly decent choice to actually stay on the gravel road in this thing. Uh, there's only one car that uses that, and we have a fairly decent chance of dodging that. Whereas here we've got all of these maniacs driving, well, like maniacs. And uh, I just have to try and hope that we don't end up dying, because you know that would really suck. Uh, we're going through a tiny bend here, I'm maxing it out in fourth gear. No higher gears, how quick are we going? Quick land. Look, okay, we're going pretty rapid. Oh god, that, that's not good, that's gone bad. Recover, recover, lift off, lift off, lift off, lift off, lift off, lift off. Just let it ride it out, boy, ride it out. Okay, apparently that's too far to the right. In there, it gets a bit wobbly. We can do it fairly decent. We're here at over 100 kilometers an hour. That's fine. I have no idea what's coming up from behind. I just have to hope that they dodge me. The good thing is the only vehicle that won't dodge, I think, is the bus. And that's right in our visibility now. I've realized I can put on my headlight probably also rear light 
so people can see me a bit better. I'm not wearing a helmet, by the way, because Finnish people in 1995 didn't know that helmets existed. Oh, corner lift off. Just let it right through. Oh, it's so bumpy. You, you really do feel these bumps a bit more. Oh, God. Yeah, those bumps are absolutely treacherous. I know that there are some people who think that you shouldn't be allowed to get a car license without riding a motorbike first because you get a, you gain a lot more awareness of you know the road surface and if there's dirt on it or if there's potholes and that. But I just think that would be stupid because everybody would die and I don't like motorbikes. I just think you die on them a lot. Like it seems to be a thing with motorbikes that it's not about if you crash but about when you crash which seems like a horrible idea as a mode of transport. Especially in this over here, no helmet on this thing. We're gonna die in a massive fireball. We're well, probably not. We're gonna die by being splattered across a road. How quickly are we going? I mean, we're going quite rapidly here. Rapidly? Yeah, we're going rapidly. That's the kind of speed we're in. We're not even rapid. We've gone beyond that into rapid, which is a mixture between warp speed and rapid speed. I'm being overtaken by a rep. Is that the Vector or the Cavalier? Why well, don't know, is that, was that the first Vectra? No, I don't think that was a Vectra. Oh no, I think that was the Mark 1 Vectra, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I think I suppose it was. It's leaving me plenty of overtaking room though, which is nice. I do appreciate that. Cheers for that, mate. Lovely stuff. Uh, how fast is he going then? Because if I'm doing naught of 110, am I gaining on him now? If I lean forwards now, I can gain on him. I'm in the aerodynamic position like a time trial cyclist but it's not working mostly because I'm sat in front of my PC monitor and not on an actual moped. We need to think about slowing down here. We can see the fern helper over there. We'll sit back up here, we'll just lift off the throttle for now. Oh god! Oh boy! We've died. Wow, okay. So uh, we've got road rash times a billion now. We'll let this Vectra pass. I really should look that up. I mean, what else would it be if it wasn't a Vectra? They make the Omega, but I don't think that would be the Omega. That would be a Vectra or Cavalier. It's certainly not a Manta, my beloved Manta. Let's not go into that stretch over there. We know that's possessed by a demon who teleports you back to where you started. Which isn't what I want at all. Change the gear here, nice and gentle on the corner. There we are. We made it back to the car. It's a bit wobbly. Ah, uh, come here. Just uh, look down here. Which one is that? You are the engine shut off. Thank you. Uh, leave this here. Pop open the boot. No, no. Open the boot. That's fine. That won't fall out on the slightest. I mean, it's probably the vehicle that I can probably spare the most. It's got literally no carrying capacity, nothing else of use. So close the door, enter the driving mode, pop it into gear. Off we go to see Flatori again. We're going for an overtake too late. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I left it a bit late because I had to restart my recording. We've got thunder, we've got lightning, we got a lorry up ahead, but everything is under control. Going for another overtake. Oh yeah, we're riding the lightning. Where's the turn off? It's coming up here at turn point. So turning, coming up here, indicate to our right, brake, slow, slow, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, it, it, it was there. Yeah, we just pull into the bus stop, that's fine. That's fine, we can make a U-turn. Has that lorry despawned or is that still coming? I mean, if I turn the wheel far to the left, oh god, I can just see the lorry now. Eee, boy. Hello, yeah, we have plenty of room for that, because he's not going that fast at all. And we can even make it across here now, even though we're coming in a bit hot. Whoa, 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 tyres there are a bit wicked. Let's see now if we've left the area. If the car has that new tyres fitted, that way we can just go ahead and row down to the place. What would we row? We need to drive. Let's see here, has he... F have you not finished work on my tyres yet? You get you haven't. Slow piece of... Okay, well, we're driving back to the house then. 